The National Volleyball Poll came out on Wednesday. It's just in time for the NAI to start volleyball play for real on Thursday. We're going to take a look today at the NAI National Volleyball Ranking, not rating, and we're going to take a look at some of the hits and misses through this top 25. Actually, it's a top 26 as there was a tie for the number 25 spot, and let's go ahead and get right to it. The top three, those are all hits. Number one is Jamestown, number two, Corbin, and number three, Eastern. In Oregon. Now, let's talk about why they're hits. Number one is number one for a reason. The Jamestown Jimmies were the national champions in 2022, and there is something to the idea that you're number one until you're not. Now, Jamestown was led by Callie Hegerly, the NAIA Player of the Year last year, as well as Anna Holen, who was the 2022 National Tournament MVP. Coach John Hegerly's squad loses those two players to graduation. They do bring back Ellie Holen, who was the National Defender of the Year last year. And you watch her play and you look and think, how can she do this? She just can, and she does, and she leads the Jimmies back. And so Jamestown in the number one spot, that is a hit. Number two is Corbin, also a hit because they were the national runners-up last year. And lots of times the coaches in doing this will look back on recent history, and recent history has Corbin right there at number two. Now, if you were laying odds in this, I might put Corbin with a little bit better odds, although I'm not suggesting you go out and put money on this, but the odds makers might have Corbin with a little bit better odds. They bring back Riley Troutman, the Cascade Player of the Year, as well as Michaela Roginski, who was also uh, Troutman's outside hitter and was there alongside both of them on the outside. They were a powerful duo. They have a strong offense for Coach McLean, and the Corbin Warriors have an edge and that is they have a chip on their shoulders. They're coming off a, a season in which they were this close to a national championship, and you know that's not sitting well with them. So uh, they are coming back, I would say, odds maybe a little bit better for Corbin. Still, though, number two, that is a hit. Number three, Eastern Oregon, also a hit, led by Haley Aratola. Eastern Oregon split with Corbin last year in the Cascade Two, uh, one game apiece within regular season play and then split one and one in the postseason. Corbin got the better in the national semifinal, a four-set win over Eastern Oregon. And the Mountaineers come back strong. They bring a lot back in that number three spot in the ranking, not rating. That would have to be a hit. Now let's go ahead to the number four spot. If you look right there, you see Concordia in that number four spot. That is a hit but just barely. And here's why. In another year, this would not be a hit. Concordia would have to be ranked higher. Coach Ben Bolt's squad is absolutely loaded. They bring back Cameron Opfer. They bring back Bree Burtwistle. They bring back Gabby Nordiker. These, this is a powerful trio. And all across this roster, there is strength coming back for the Bulldogs. Why is this a hit? Because how do you break into that top three right now? They're going to have to do it on the court, match after match, but do not be surprised to see Concordia in one of those top three spots when, I mean, midway through the season, maybe when all is said and done. I think that uh, this is a, a Concordia team that makes a deep run into the playoffs. Northwestern, led by Allison Dexter, an All-American returning, and Northwestern in the number five spot. That is a hit. Now let's look here, number six through nine. You're looking at number six, and if it's a little small on your screen, I'll read it. Park is at number six, Viterbo at number seven, Missouri Baptist at number eight, and Midland at number nine. Now, in that six through nine spot, probably the, the right thing to do for all of those. I mean, you're looking at four teams that among those four, in just the last nine years alone, you know, you're talking about programs that have put together four national championships, three national runner-up finishes uh, among Park and Missouri Baptist and Midland. The Turbo, by the way, it was nice to see them move out of that number nine spot. It seemed like that they had just uh, owned real estate in that number nine spot in the ranking last year. Well, the Turbo in at number seven right now. You have to think that that's probably right, but we get to the number 10 spot, and that says Southwestern Assemblies of God University. That is a miss, and that is as big a miss as we saw all season last year. The Lions did not get the national credit that they deserved. 
33 consecutive wins to open up the season. They make it into pool play. They did lose two matches in pool play, final two matches of the season. They finished 33 and two. They bring back Emma Tompkins, All American. They bring back Riley Burcham, All American. Coach Hank Moore's squad is ready to go undefeated through the Sooner Athletic Conference last year, which, by the way, Tompkins, the player of the year in the conference, Burcham, the setter of the year in the conference. This is a strong team. This is a miss. Where do they take a spot in that top 10? I'm not going to put them yet in the top five, but I think they're higher up than the number 10 spot. They're going to have to earn it, but they need to get the national recognition. So if you're watching this, if you are someone who is a part of this ranking system and you're watching this, you need to know Sagu is pretty good. Number 11, Mid-American Nazarene. Don't know if you can see that or not. There they are on that number 11 spot. Only two losses last season, and the Pioneers bring back three All-Americans. Michaela Johnson, Cassidy Chris, Lucy Masichkova, all three All-Americans. This is a tough Pioneer squad. I'm going to say this is a hit just barely, and here's why. Where can you put them in the top 10 right now? It's tough. But the reason it's a hit is because if you're going to put them in that next section, the 11 through 20 section, they have to be at the top. So there we go. Another miss in the top 20. And tell me in the comments section where you think this is a miss. As uh, numbers 12 through 20, uh, it reads down Taylor, Dakota Wesleyan, Columbia from Missouri, Montana Tech, Indiana Wesleyan, Bellevue, College of St. Mary, Central Methodist, Southern Oregon, and Marion, uh, and Marion actually in, in the number 21 spot there. So here's my question for you in the comment section. One of those teams, it looks like just got the lifetime achievement award as they were voted into the top 20, maybe not a top 20 team, but a lifetime achievement award because it's a team that's been strong consistently over the years. So, uh, let me know in the comment section, which one of those teams you think it is reading out the remainder of this. Uh, again, I mentioned Marion, Ottawa, Texas, Wesley and Hastings. And Jessup and Columbia International share that number 25 spots. Both coasts are represented in the number 25 spot. As you see, most of the strong volleyball in the country takes place right there in the middle of the country. And Jessup heading for Division II, so one final run in the NAI for the team from California. Columbia International, though, you see them at, their very, at the very bottom. They had more wins last year than anyone else. They had 38 wins last year. Made a run to the NCCAA semifinals last year after an NCCAA national championship the year before. So got some extra games in in the postseason playing there. I would have to say that is a miss, but just barely. Uh, Columbia International should be a little bit higher than that number 25 spot. Did not get the recognition that they deserve right there. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section as we are talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. We're previewing the 2023 college volleyball season here on Midwest Sportsnet, and we will have lots more volleyball here on the channel. So please take the time, subscribe to the channel. Please keep enjoying the videos right here. We enjoy putting them out for you. Thanks for watching this one. NAI national ranking, not rating, top 25, led by Jamestown heading into the 2023 season. God bless you. Have a great day.